Alex! What you got there, bro? Mm -hmm. Just sent it to us. There's nothing inside it, though. What? In here. Gosh. What? That didn't hit. Exactly, you're literally trash, bro. Get out of my game. Yo! Yo, that's his talk, bro. Nah, nah. Kill it, kill it, kill it. What the heck is that? Why the frick would you kick me? I'm just trying to chill, man. Jesus, that kick was strong as hell. You guys want to be friends? Yeah. But if you want to hang with us, we got to get you dripped out. Yeah. What do you think? Come up on a huge new console generation launch, and as you might be able to expect, scalpers are taking advantage. The situation with PlayStation 5 right now is pretty crazy. Demand is still at an all-time high, while supply fails to keep up. Scalper Group says it has no regrets over reselling 3,500 PS5 consoles. And these people are upcharging the hell out of these things. Crap Chief Notify has responded to the backlash with zero semblance of remorse. What we're looking at here is a business that makes money at other people's expense. At other people's expense. Scalpers, the enemy of all gamers. The people who get bots to sit and stare at all online retailers. These bots are faster than any human checking out, so it makes it impossible for people to get these consoles on launch day. These bots take everything, but who is controlling these bots? None other than other humans. Not looking to get one of these consoles, no. They are looking for the whole inventory. Not for their own pleasure, but for their financial gain. They ask thousands from you to get your hands on these consoles while they laugh as their money just keeps going up and up because people don't have any other options. They force the average consumer to go through them. But lately, people have grown tired, restless, and weary with a famous reseller getting robbed at gunpoint for all of these consoles. After putting out a tweet reading, quote, F your feelings, digital, $900, Disc $1,100. Tap in. End quote. And someone responded, quote, F your feelings, and proceeded to dox him or post his address online for all Twitter to see. Under it reads digital $0. Disc $0. Tap in. One person found out that this person lived only 20 minutes away and proceeded to post online that he was going to rob him. The reseller called his bluff, but it was no bluff. He robbed them at gunpoint for his entire inventory of PS5s. Now we ask Brandon Moore and Kevin Aguirre for their thoughts on scalping. Now our first question is, do you know what the definition of scalping is and what is it? Uh, well, before I didn't know, but then I searched it up. And um, it's basically where you just buy a console or something new. And then you basically just like resell it for like a really high price. Brandon, what is the definition of scalping? Uh, scalping is basically someone that tries and 
gets an uh, like some type of high demand object and tries to resell it for a higher price. And the second question, what do you think of scalping? Well, right now with the new consoles for both Xbox and Sony, I don't think it's like I know they're just trying to like get that bag, secure that money, but like it's just they're like taking consoles and like reselling them for a higher price and that doesn't allow access to like a lot of people Mm -hmm. so it's kind of like unfair okay what do you think of scalping i think it's pretty bad for business i think that doesn't really help people and it's quite annoying to deal with and then for the final question did the guy who got um who got robbed at gunpoint deserve it yes or no answer i feel like that scalping would be kind of like dangerous and sketchy at times so in a way he knew what he was doing so like he knows what like could happen so in a way he kind of deserves it and my question is do you think that that guy deserved to get robbed um I don't, th- I don't exactly think he deserved to get robbed, but it's understandable why someone would get so angry at that, because they- it's very high demand. Both people said that the means were a little extreme, but given the circumstances, we're understanding why someone would get mad at this situation. What do you think of scalping? This is Gavin Deacon, signing off. I'm in the market for a new gaming monitor. The issue is is that there's too many choices. So I'm gonna go find the best one. So we're here at bestbuy.com. We're gonna go search gaming monitor, 4K. This monitor here, it looks amazing. 49 inches, it's huge. It's curved. It could probably fit on this desk and it's only $900. See now I say only because if you think about a TV, that's 50 inches and curved, made by Samsung, it's going to be expensive. But you go here, see 144 hertz, amazing. One millisecond, amazing. 3840, amazing. But wait, 1080. 1080 means it's only HD. In other words, it's really deceiving. Get this. They have an even more expensive version of the same monitor for $1,500. And here it is, right here. It looks even better. It's perfect. Until you go here. 240 hertz, that's already an improvement. 5120. Oh, is it 5K? No, it's only 1440p. Still, not even 4K. For $1,500, I would hope that you could get 4K. But... Apparently not. I bought a huge 4K TV for only 400 bucks. Why is this 1500? Well, not really sure why, but I'm sure in a few years the prices will sort themselves out and they'll be affordable. But in the meantime, this is the LG Ultra Gear UHD, one millisecond, 144 hertz. One millisecond response time for $800, and it's unavailable everywhere. Last week, however, it was available. Now it's not. If that tells you something, I think I found the best gaming monitor. So we go to the specifications, and we see 140 hertz, 3840 by 2160, so that's 4K, UHD. Um, One millisecond response time. It's got all the inputs I need. And it looks amazing. So, with that, I think I found the best gaming monitor. Here it is on Amazon. We notice there's only 10 left in stock. Another indicator, either this monitor isn't mass-produced, or it's an amazing monitor. I'm going to go with the latter, that it's an amazing monitor. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and buy this off of Amazon because it's available. Buy now. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. And boom. So, expect a review by March 10th.